Shelly Annan. Soil research scientists in Ghana are advising farmers to present soil samples of farmlands for testing. The scientists are also interested in the water to fend crop farms. According to CSIR's Soil Research Institute in Kumasi, the nature of soil and water determines how well a crop farm would do. Consequently, a test to determine the soil status would guide the mix of other factors to be applied for increased productivity. Napoleon Atukito reports. Crop farming cannot take place without the soil. Soil is host for 95% of the items that combine to grow plants. The strenuous factors such as weather act in vacuum without a soil holding the plant. It is only when crop is in soil that all factors that grow plants are relevant. Soil is fundamental to crop farming says the Soil Research Institute in Kumase, Ghana. We need to understand our soil, then we can actually predict the kind of intervention that might be needed in order to enhance its um, fertility or in order to enhance its support for crop production. The first step in agronomic practice is to test the soil to know the biological components, physical characteristics and nutrient concentration of the soil. Inventory of soil types becomes a reference for timing cultivation, crops to be planted, irrigation to be done, and additional nutrients to be applied. If soil nutrients are 15 centimeters deep, for instance, and the much lower horizons of the soil are rocky, it is advisable that the trees to be planted have root penetration not exceeding the riches of the nutrients. This one went up to a depth of almost 200 centimeters, meaning that the soil can actually support tree growth. If you have tree crops that have deep roots, they can still be able to operate in this, you can cultivate them in this soil that we have. Poor soil fertility leads to low crop yields, hence the soil scientists recommend fertilizer use. Plants don't have legs to move, to search for food, like animals, like us. So they are at one place for the whole cropping season. They have to feed. So you have to look for the, the, the nutrient or the feed, and that is fertilizer that we are applying. Nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus are classified as primary nutrients. Without them, do not even think of applying fertilizers because the soil won't be arable. Academic wisdom indicates that these may be naturally present or be introduced artificially. Phosphorus stimulates the enzymic activities to induce crop productivity. Factors of soil formation as parent material, organisms, climate and time may determine acidity levels. If parent material is sandstone, there will be large deposits of hydrogen and aluminum ions to saturate soil in acid. In this case, application of acidic fertilizers would invariably cause an overdose of the substance to harm crops. When you apply fertilizer that are acidic in nature, like the sulfate of ammonia, they all end up in causing the soil to be acidic. Analytical laboratories at the CSIR's Soil Research Institute in Kumase do not only test for presence of heavy metals in soil, but also conduct analysis on fertilizer, plants and water, water peculates and mixed with soil. Plants feed on soil nutrients which include water and fertilizer, that the laboratory analysis settled the puzzle on cause to effect. Few years ago, China rejected Ghana's agricultural exports owing to presence of higher levels of heavy metals in the produce. Tests would have avoided that. The soil scientists provide more insight about soils in Ghana's agroecological space. If you go to the north, uh, it is uh, underlain by some different rocks, uh, and, uh, uh, <coughs> and therefore the vegetation there too is different. And then it's also affected by climate. They follow it. Now, if you come to the middle bed, it's also a different type. Uh -huh. It can be other, uh, how do you call it, uh, granite or phyllite. And this, these are the main rocks in the forest zone, actually, that uh, uh, soils are formed. See, so the soils differ from 
area to area. If you go to the the, the coastal coastal area, uh, Akram place, for instance, we have the very heavy clay soils. We call them acoustic uh, series or vertisols. They are very hard when it is dry. They crack, big cracks. Huh. But when uh, it's wet, rainy season, they are very plastic, difficult to work with. The soil performs a unique function, invisible to the eye, except scientists. For several factors affecting the climate to a change, the role of soils stabilizing atmospheric conditions is especially highlighted. All the challenges that we have is the concentration of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And by the simple photosynthesis that we all know, when you use the carbon dioxide and water in the presence of oxygen and UV light, you produce the carbohydrate and then you have the oxygen. So we do all these things with the aim of reducing the concentration of carbon dioxide that would get into the atmosphere. And the moment we succeed in doing that, then the nutrients are confined in the soil. We have more carbon storage in the soil. Statistics reveal that even though Ghana has increased agricultural productivity in the last few years with exports to neighboring La Côte d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso in 2018, as well as channeling food through the World Food Programme, the farming hit Niger in 2011. Performance is far below potential. Fertilizer use in Ghana as of 2019 is about 20 kilos per hectare, below the 50 kilos recommended in the 2015 Abuja Declaration. It sets heights for countries in the West Africa sub-region to improve productivity and contain farming and hunger. Production of staples such as cassava, maize and rice are yet to hit optimal levels. Experts say what appears to be food glut in some parts of the country remains within the confines of subsistence production and that anything that manifests itself as excess production only represents the absence of ready markets. Soil scientists make a case that the yield gaps has everything to do with the soil. Your food on the table starts its journey from the soil. Napoleon Atukitu reporting. You're still watching the news on GBC News. Your news